All right, let's put Roger through his paces, boys. We're going to see what he's like. He's free. We've got an expiring contract. Let's get him in to the squad. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today, we are taking a look at the free nominating contract, Rodri. Skills, stats, best build for him. And of course, breaking down some gameplay of how to get the best out of this DMF beast. Let's go. All right, so without complicating it, Rodri is literally just a blocker. That's all he is, a blocker and a passer. So he does add a little bit something with the passing. We'll show you his passing ability in a minute. But it is essentially going to be your blocker in midfield. If you don't have a right card, if you don't have Vieira, or if you don't have somebody that you've settled on yet, Rodri's a, he's a beast, man. He's just a menace in that area. Now, he can shoot, he can pass, he can do all that good stuff as well. He's got a really solid card for a free card here for the nominating contracts. But it is essentially that, you know, he's just going to be your blocker and passer. Keep the ball moving and be your disruptor at the back. We could have scored there. But this is it, man. You're in the 90th minute. This could be equally 2-1. You're up. You could get caught in the counter-attack. Rodri seems to be always there. Now, I will go in about uh, the tactics in a second just here. And we will show you a bit more with the passing. Um, but if you are going to be playing Rodri, I think the most important thing, in my opinion... The most important thing with Rodri is how you set him up. People will complain that he's a bit too slow compared to Vieira Riker, but let's be honest, nobody can cover the ground if Vieira and Riker can cover. So if you're playing free to play, you are at a disadvantage if you don't have Vieira or Riker just because, you know, or Hullet or any of those guys um, that can cover the ground that, that those two legends can cover or those three meta players can cover. But you can kind of switch it up once you have Rodri, right? Don't worry too much about it. Try and get Roger to split your CBs. As you see here, you can change your formation and tactics around a little bit then uh, or around that kind of like system. But uh, you just want Roger to sit in between your two CBs. And also for his stats, this is the build that we've gone with. Now, the free reset progression is no longer, okay? So unfortunately, that is gone now until it comes back again in the future. 90 into defensive awareness and tackling, 94 aggression and 92 defensive engagement. But he's still got 85 tight possession and 86 uh, low pass. On top of that, he's got 74 speed. Kick and power, stamina, perfect. And where this, really, where this card really comes into its own is how you train him. But it's easy enough to train him. This is the build that we've gone for in all the clips that you see here. 4 into passing, 4 into dexterity, 10 into lower body, 5 into aerial strength and 10 into defending. That is going to give you, with the manager boost, every manager that is over 83 proficiency is going to give you a plus 2 boost to the stat, or 85 proficiency is going to give you a plus 2 stat. Ten Hag is also going to give him an extra boost if you've got Ten Hag within your squad. We are using Thomas Tuchel in this one because we don't have, on our road to glory, got that paid premium Ten Hag. But this is it, man. This is the card. Now, I might, I'll might i get questions asked the whole time. I'll probably still get them in the comments if people don't watch this video fully true, which you should. And make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Is 85 passing enough for a player like Rodri when he's got a really good uh, kind of card that you can excel at passing, right? Yes. And I'll show you a couple of clips that you see here. We'll also have a few at the end as well. But mostly with this card, and I've been saying this for months now, this game is very gameplay driven in terms of the animations. It's animation driven gameplay. That's kind of what it is. So that's why you can pass with a 65 rated player. That's why when you're playing the AI sometimes, they'll be able to pull off one touch passes even without one touch passing skill. So this Rodri card has got everything that you could possibly want. One touch pass, true passing, low lofted, everything. And again, we'll see the passes, we'll see the chance creation that he makes here. It is ridiculous because he's just that type of player. He's able to pass the ball. He seems to have a little bit of time on the ball. Kind of like that Sergio Bus gets when he was in his prime, uh, when he was good in eFootball. And you can see spraying away. But essentially, it's always going to come back to him winning the ball back when you're on the counter, slide tackling, manual defending. One of the best positioning players in the game with that awareness and his build. So we're going to leave up also one other uh, little hint and little tip. Make sure, if you can, to try and train a blocker onto Rodri. It will make a big difference. And also, build him this way if you are looking to just have the re best ready-made Rodri to suit a possession-based play style, or it's a long ball or quick counter. The only that do it doesn't really suit is if you're just lumping the ball up and you need a bit of speed in midfield if you're playing one holding midfielder. So, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe.